surgical operation which is called TENS nailing. Uh, this stands for titanium elastic nailing system. This is usually performed for pediatric population and today's surgery is uh, in a pediatric patient who has got a femoral sharp fracture. Now I think one important thing when you are using a TENS nail is to determine the right size of nail to be put. So if you look I have drawn, done some marking here. So you have marked the inner aspect of medial cortex, we have marked inner aspect of the lateral cortex and this is the diameter of the cortex. So say for example diameter of cortex is 10 millimeter. So if you are using two tense nails which is usually used in long bone fractures such as femur or tibia and in that case you are going to use 0.4 into 10. So 4 mm into 2. So you are going to use two nails of 4 mm so that you fill around 80% of the canal. If it was say for example 8 mm so again you are going to make 0.4 so 0.4 will be 8 into 0.4 will be 3.2 so roughly 3 mm. So this is how you calculate the size of the nail. In single bone fractures such as radius and ulna you aim for and you get around 60% of the canal fill you are aiming for. So if this was radius and I am going to put one tens nail so I will divide 0.6 multiplied by 10 so I will use a single 6 mm wire. This is just an example to explain you how to decide the size of the nail that you are going to put and always try to use two symmetrical nails that is nail of the same diameter if you want to use or if you want to follow the principles of tense nail correctly. So once your patient is prepped, draped and ready um, you have to identify the site of insertion of the tense nail. So this is usually two centimeters before the level of the physis. So you check it on x-ray and then only you make the stab hole so that your incision is at the right place. So one small tip when you are making your insertion is go at the 90 degree to the bone and then slowly start making you all coming more and more vertical and that way you will not come out otherwise when you go when you start making your entry hole like this you keep skidding on this ridge and you might struggle. So start, vertical, start at 90 degree and then drop your hand and go vertical. So we started at 90 degree, now we have dropped our hand, I think we have made a good hole. It next step will be to pass the nail. Now there is a controversy whether to pre-bend the nail or put the nail straight away and let it follow the contour of the bone. I leave it for you to decide what you will do. I usually pre-bend the nail at the fracture site and then only I pass it. So now our nail is inside and this is one difficult point where you will find some difficulty. So because now nail has to go here and then travel up, this is the place where you will find resistance. You just have to be patient and just rotate your hand or use a mallet and tap it gently and then you will find that this is going in the right direction. So now you can see after gentle tapping, this has gone in the right direction. So now you notice there is a bend at the tip of the nail and that is done purposefully because now you can see nail is going in this direction. So all we are going to do is to withdraw it slightly and rotate it in the right direction and then gently hammer it and it should uh, enter the proximal fragment. So now you can see we have withdrawn it slightly and the tip is now facing this cortex and now if you gently tap it, it will go in the right direction. So either you can pass both wires medial and lateral and bring them here and tap them together one by one so that you go and reduce the fracture or you can put one and then use the other nail. I usually find it putting one nail gives some stability and then passing the second wire becomes much easier for me. And also don't tap this till more than lesser trochanter because what you are going to do is you are going to cut the nail proud and then you will tap it so that you still have few mm for the nail to sink in. Now you have to decide 
or roughly have an idea so that you are on the lateral aspect of the or in the center of the femur in the lateral aspect so go in the front first so you can see this is the front go in the back and then bring your all somewhere in between so now you are sure that this is not too anterior this is not too posterior somewhere in the middle so same principle on the medial side go straight and then angle it so again we went straight and now we have angled it now again the same thing when you are hitting the lateral cortex and you want nail to go up your curve has to be in this direction so that when you gently tap it it just skids on the lateral cortex and it goes up so one key thing when you are trying to negotiate the tense nail is that you want to reduce the fracture and most of the times gentle traction is what that's necessary to do that so dr sora is giving the proximal traction ramesh is giving the distal traction and then dr rashid is just gently going to tap it tap the nail inside and you'll find most times this will go without any problems without doing much and you can do this close and you never have to open it so again to negotiate this nail into the proximal fragment you can see that deliberately we have curved the tip towards the lateral cortex so now we have passed both the wires and you have seen that deliberately we have kept the wire at the level of lesser trochanter this is because when we are going to cut the nail proud we still have option of burying it around 2 cm deep so that the nail is not proud and it is not irritating the soft tissues laid uh, in around the knee so this is how it looks we have passed both the wires medially as well as laterally now we just need to cut the wire and tap it little bit inside so that it doesn't irritate the soft tissue one advice to you is just give a gentle curve to the nail don't bend it sharp because whenever child starts bending the knee it always causes pain and this nail will be removed at 6 months and if it is too proud it causes soft tissue irritation which can cause loss of movement in the knee so now so now this is what i meant that we have deliberately cut the nail proud and it is around a centimeter outside we are gently going to tap it and as you remember that we deliberately left the nail up to the level of lesser trochanter we still have room of around 2 to 3 cm through which we can push the nail superiorly so now we are just gently going to tap it and take it deep so that it is buried under the skin and under the muscle so you can see this surgery is so fascinating that you can do this operation why the small hole on the skin so all you require is one incision one stitch on the lateral aspect and the one stitch after medial aspect you don't need to immobilize it in any form of plaster and patient can start bending the knee straight away so we was this was a surgical video of tense nail this is one of my favorite operation as you can do this wonderful operation with just two small stab holes and the results are fascinating so thank you team for doing this wonderful operation dr rashid who did this operation for you dr saurabh uh, who assisted in this operation and dr chandni who was the anesthetist so if you see normally uh, people will say you can only do it when the fracture line is transverse or short oblique now this is one fracture this is a long spiral fracture and we have done tense nail and the reduction as you saw was perfect and i'm sure this will heal this was by chance another patient who came 6 months ago to us and we removed the nail today this was a subtroc uh, this was a subtrochanteric fracture and we did the tense nail and you can see how beautifully the fracture has healed and we have removed his nail today so viewers thank you for watching this video do subscribe to our channel and do share this video